Hello and welcome back. This is Lake Tahoe Television News. The storm system passing through the Tahoe region this weekend left impressive precipitation totals in its wake. North Star is reporting four feet of new snow that fell at the 8,600 foot level over the weekend. And at Sugar Bowl, well, they're reporting over five feet of new snow. Here's a look at the government rainfall map for just Sunday, showing some areas receiving up to four inches of rainfall. Folsom Dam down in Sacramento rose 10 feet in just one day. Not enough to end the drought, but it certainly helped. A fatal accident near Truckee claimed the life of a woman from Beijing, China on February 6th. The accident happened on eastbound Interstate 80 west of the Soda Springs exit during the snowstorm. According to the CHP report, 40-year-old Fang Ling was a passenger in a car that had slid off the road. She and the driver of that car were standing outside their vehicle when another car slid off the road at the same place and struck the woman. She was declared dead at the scene by fire rescue crews. The Rim Fire Emergency Salvage Act was approved by the U.S. House of Representatives on February 6th. The legislation, sponsored by California Congressman Tom McClintock, will allow for increased logging of the burned out areas of the Rim Fire and reduced judicial review of those logging projects. That fire started on August 17th near Yosemite by a hunter's campfire, and it burned over 250,000 acres of woodlands. McClintock says the measure will help the area's economy and put hundreds of people back to work. Barton Memorial Hospital in South Lake Tahoe is moving its outpatient laboratory services to a new location just around the corner from its present spot. Starting on February 20th, the lab will relocate from its current home across the street from the hospital on South Avenue to 4th Street, a couple of blocks away. The old location will then become a urology medical office. Tahoe Donner in Truckee is looking to improve and expand its cross-country ski center and its equestrian center. Plans have been submitted to demolish the existing building and build a new 10,220-square-foot cross-country ski center. 88 parking spaces are proposed for the project. The project is scheduled to be reviewed by the Planning Commission at a special hearing on March 4th. More information on the project can be found on the Town of Truckee's website. Another project in Truckee would create a special community facilities district comprised of landowners in the Brickletown section of downtown. Improvements planned for the area include enhanced sidewalks, streetscaping, lighting, and parking. But it comes at a cost. Each of the parcel owners along that section of Donner Pass Road would be required to pay a special tax to fund the project. Owners voted on the proposal in January, and the ballots will be counted at the March 11th town council meeting. Meanwhile, there's a meeting scheduled for February 13th at the town hall chambers to present the streetscape project to the community. And finally, don't forget, this coming Friday is Valentine's Day. You may want to make reservations now at your favorite restaurant, because not only does it fall on a Friday night, but because all those skiers will also be coming up and they'll be wanting restaurant tables for themselves. Squaw Valley is offering a special Valentine's Day dinner at High Camp. Only $54 per adult for seasoned ski pass holders or if you have a Squaw Valley lift ticket for that day. And to make Valentine's Day even more memorable, Friday night will feature a full moon. From the Lake Tahoe Television News Studio, I'm Robert G. Scott.